season of Worthy is upon us, and with that, a new seasonal activity and new Obelisk Forge system is in place. In this video, we'll talk about how the Seraph Tower activity works and how to upgrade the Seraph Bunkers the most efficiently. If you have any further questions, be sure to leave them in the comment section below, and just wanted to give a quick shout out to my guy Colossus for allowing me to use some of his screenshots in this video. So without further ado, let's get into it. Starting off the season, you'll be helping Anna Bray and Zavala arm the Warmind, Rasputin, to use his arsenal against the Almighty, that is slowly but surely on a collision course with the tower and the last remaining city on Earth. To do this, the first step after the introduction missions of talking to Zavala, Anna, creating some orbs, and a good old chat with Rasputin, he will unlock the first bunk to us on EDZ, which will end up killing some Fallen for him, and then give us a quest to go and do the Seraph Tower activity. The objective of this activity is to throw polarity charges at an orb that is connected between two towers. Once that orb reaches the other tower, it will complete progress towards constructing a satellite to help defend Earth. The Fallen don't like this idea and start sending waves of enemies upon you and your fellow Guardians. The polarity charges are shot out at intervals from a tower that needs to be defended. This is marked by a Warmind symbol. If there are enemies inside the marked out area of that tower in that interval, Rasputin will only give you two balls to progress the orb with the message saying enemy interference prevented a support tower from charging. If you succeed in defending the tower, six charges will be shot out instead of two in all directions, which then you can throw at the orb to make it move towards the other tower. If all six hit the orb, you'll see an explosion and another tower will appear to defend until 100% construction. Once this is done, two fallen catch ships will appear and either two anti-barrier champions or two overload champions will jump out and need to be killed in the time limit given. So keep in mind to either slot in overload rounds or anti-barrier rounds to help get this done. This completes the event and a Seraph chest and a normal chest will appear. The normal chest can just be opened like any other public event chest, however you will need what is called an encrypted warmind bit in order to open the Seraph chest. This can come from the normal chest, legendary lost sector chests, and Rasputin bounties. After doing several runs of the tower Seraph activity, Rasputin bounties and legendary lost sectors, you'll end up with warmind bits. These bits are the currency used to upgrade the bunker. There are three tiers to the bunker upgrades. Tier 1 being the top row, tier 2 being middle, and tier 3 being bottom. However, it is better to work in columns, as you will need to have tier 1 upgraded before being able to purchase tier 2. When you purchase an upgrade, you'll get an item called a chipset. This is used to upgrade the integration rank of the bunker. Depending on the upgrade tier you purchase is how many chipsets you get. Tier 1 gives you 1, Tier 2 gives you 2, and Tier 3 gives you 4. One fully upgraded column gives you enough chipsets for one integration rank. There are 7 integration ranks to a bunker, and for the first 6 ranks you'll be awarded a powerful reward, and a pinnacle reward for the 7th. You also get a bunker rank bonus, which helps boost productivity, much like the obelisk bonuses from last season. You can start farming weapon frames from the bunker once you hit rank 3 integration. After doing some trial and error, the most efficient way to upgrade the bunker would be to upgrade the very right column first, as this reduces the cost of how many bits it costs for bunker upgrades. Tier 1, after full reduction, is 60 bits, Tier 2 to 120, and Tier 3 to 240. Second would be encrypted warmind bits Tier 1 and Tier 2 in the third column, as this gives more bits from completing challenges for Vanguard, Crucible, Gambit, and Hawthorne. Lastly, would be the Warmind Generation Tier 1, 2, and 3, as this gives a chance for bits to drop in Crucible Gambit and Vanguard playlists without completing challenges. I will say, this is just a recommendation, and if you want to upgrade the bunker how you want to, then by all means go for it. I hope this video has helped you understand a bit of the new activities in the season. The first Trials weekend will be this weekend of this video coming out, so if you are participating in it, good luck, and if you do run into me, please, please try to go easy on me. Once again, any further questions, be sure to leave in the comments section below. And until next time, one chance out.